Hey everyone, welcome to the series. We're gonna focus on education in the financial markets. Starting with today's video on how to set up your platform, how to set up your charts on Thinkorswim, whether you have four monitors like myself or whether you just have one monitor, maybe you're trading on a laptop. In today's video, I'll show you start to finish of how I set up my monitor and how you can too and save it so you only have to do it one time, thankfully. Make sure you hit the like, subscribe, leave a comment on what kind of video you want to see next. The most popular responses we get in the comments area, that will be the next video on those subjects. That's the goal. Stay tuned and let's go ahead and share the screen and walk you through the setup. Hey everyone, Lance here and let's walk through the steps on Think or Swim. Now the first thing I want to do, let's make my head a little bit bigger than it is, is if I'm logging into Think or Swim for the first time or Quite frankly, I just reset my whole platform. So this is the default. Let's say I was brand new and I just opened an account. Hopefully you don't have minus $127. What happened there, daddy-o? Uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and get 130. Oh no, doomsday is near. Now we have a uh, money in the account, so you know it's real. So obviously p is gonna fluctuate. But let's go ahead and set my layout. The first thing I want to do is, well, quite frankly, get rid of this screen. I don't want to know about all this economic stuff. I don't want a big logo or the time or anything like that. The only thing I really want from this layout is maybe a watch list. That's pretty much it. So right off the bat, let's go ahead and detach the watch list. All right. Yeah, we have a watch list. If we want to add our custom tickers to it, we can. Maybe I want to add, let's say, Netflix to it. I can add it. If I want to add, let's say, uh, Apple, or we already have Apple. Maybe I want to add uh, have NVIDIA, maybe AMD to it, maybe the Russell 2000 to it. We can. So your watch list, go ahead. You could keep, or you can just detach it. Maybe you want to make it, uh, you want to save it or print it, whatever you want to do with it. Right now, I'm just gonna put it on another monitor because let's say I'm only using one screen, uh, I can't. Or if I want, I could put it over here. This is my news flow scanner. This is not part of Thinkorswim. This is a custom option scanner I created. Not part of Thinkorswim or Schwab though. Totally independent to the options market. Let's go ahead and put my watch list on another monitor though. We don't need it right now. But what we do need is to open up the charts. So let's go on the top right. Let's clean this bad boy up and click on charts. That's what y'all came to see. Y'all want to set it up. So let's do it. So I got up my chart and you can see I have a layout. Let's just go ahead and put uh, a ticker on there. Let's do arm. Why not? Arm holdings right there. Having a big strong day uh, as well at arm. Micron having a big day. A lot of names. NVIDIA big day. Let's just go ahead and put arm holdings. We know it's a new stock uh, relative to the uh, relative to the new name. So now I have a blend chart, but I need more. What if I'm, you know, using uh, uh, only one monitor? I can only just look at one stock. You know, I got to type it in every time. Uh, Nvidia, got to type you in every time. Amazon. I don't want that. I want to keep it cleaner. I want it easy. I want to follow multiple stocks out there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this big square right here. And then I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to put two charts up. Now you can see once I did two of them, so side by side like this, there's nothing right here. Let's go ahead and put NVIDIA in there. All right. So now we got both our charts, the most default of default of settings. And let's just actually make this big we don't need the option scanner the video is getting cluttered with flow because it's the most valuable company in the world it just hit so you're gonna have lots of flow on it but let's go ahead we have our two basic charts now if we want to go to let's say a five minute we can we want to go to uh 30 minute we can this highlighted area is after hours or extended hours but let's get this bad boy and bad girl cleaned up and then saved it. So let's go ahead and clean these charts up. Let's first go here to Amazon and then we'll do it for NVIDIA. And let's go ahead and go to this gear icon. So we go on that gear icon right there. Let's go ahead and clean this up. 
Let's go to overlap volume right here and let's get that checked. Click apply. That will overlap volume so I don't have a, a, a little graph hogging up the chart. Again, I just got one monitor right here. Well, I have four, but you can only see one of them. The next thing I want to do is I want to go to the price access. All that looks good. Let's go to time access. Now, time access is this space here. We can see they're right on the border of it. There's no space. I like personally to add a space. So we're going to add five in there five bars to the right click apply so now we have a little gap in our time see we have a little gap i like that personally and that was in the time axis we have our time frames if we want to add maybe we want to add a 10 minute time frame we can maybe we go ahead and go to our time frame and we want to add let's say a intraday maybe a 10 minute time frame we can, maybe for the past five days, let's go ahead and add that. So we can add time frames or remove them. Appearance wise, well, I'm colorblind, so it doesn't do much help. Equities, if we want to turn off extended hours, so remove the gray area, we can. Where it says show extended hours, let's go ahead and just turn that off. Options, we could keep all that. Futures, Forex, we don't do any of that. Forex is for, well, I'll be nice and I won't say scammers. <clears throat> all right, let's click on OK. So now, if I want to go to the 10 minute chart, oh look, it's there for Amazon. So I like this setup a lot cleaner. So I have volume here. I got a little bit of space here than the default setting. So let's go ahead and do that one more time to the right with NVIDIA. Let's go ahead and click on the gear icon. Let's go ahead, overlap volume, apply. Price access, good. Time access, let's go ahead and add five apply let's go favorite time frame look we have our 10 minutes still appearance is good let's go ahead and turn off extended hours and equities click apply and we should be good let's go to the 10 minute chart zoom in on that bad boy looky there now you may be saying lance fine dandy thank you perfect what about indicators what about studies after all we got to add the master indicator one of the most popular indicators in the world, especially for thinkorswim. So let's go ahead and add it. To add an indicator or a study, the master indicator is my own study. It does cost money. It is not free. Nothing good is free. But there is free studies on thinkorswim. So let's go ahead and click on this little science beacon thing, it looks like. Like you're in a science class. And let's go where it says add studies and strategies. If I want to add, let's say some chicken wing moving average thingamabobber i can maybe i want to add a daily atr i can click apply look i got an atr what is that going to do well it's going to really do nothing for you except give you the average true range of a stock which can be good for profits and targets but it doesn't give you any trend direction i want a trend direction so let's go ahead and do that shall we let's go ahead to the little um science beacon class thing let's click on it let's remove our atr let's go ahead and add the master indicator boom baby let's go ahead and add the master indicator to nvidia we got so many master indicators from doing so many so much trainings boom all right so now we got the master indicator on my chart i got amazon to my left I got NVIDIA to my right. I got NVIDIA in a 10 minute time frame, which I like for day trading. We got my up arrows. We got everything working. It's perfect. Don't screw it up. So now what I want to do is save. So let's go ahead and go to setup, save workspace as. I'm going to put two charts for June because we have two charts and we're in June and click on save. Now, every time I restart my thinkorswim, my layout is gonna save just like this. But what if you have multiple monitors? Maybe you have four monitors like I do. I'm gonna go to detach and look what happens. I have my same charts. Maybe I wanna put them on the screen on my left, the screen up top, the screen on my top left. I can't. Now I'm good to go. 
So if I want to add, let's say, Apple and Facebook to these, I can't, right? Everything's set up. So what I'm going to do here is add those charts to my other monitor. If I want to do it again, I'll just click on these little three notepad things right here. Boop, boop. And go to detach. That way you can put more charts up. Let's say I want to make my charts even smaller or I want to add three. I could click on this and add another one. Maybe I want to do uh, good old AMD. Now I can add it and I can add my studies and do the same steps that we talked about earlier. Now you may be saying, Lance, that's perfect. Thank you. But how can I get my trade set up or how can I link the two charts? What if I want a video in the 10 minute and I want a video on the daily? Well, all I have to do here is I can go ahead and link my charts. See how this one has a one that's red next to it and this one doesn't. I could just click on the little clip here and link it up. So now they're linked. And if I want to look, let's say at, uh, let's say Netflix on the daily, it will populate and on the 10 minute, you see how it populated for both. Or if I want to do, let's say Google, you see how it populated for both or Microsoft. So that's pretty cool. So I could type in one ticker and look at the daily time frame and let's say a 10 minute time frame of one. Now to place orders and we'll make another video on this. I go to my trade tab and I go to all products. I don't like this active trader thing. I think it looks horrible. And you don't need to know all that mumbo jumbo is I can go ahead, type in my ticker and it will take me to the options. So we'll talk about how to trade the options under the trade tab and the stock in the next video. Again, make sure you like, subscribe, leave a comment. On to the next educational video.